All right, here we are once again at the uh, 39th annual uh, L.A. Harbor Coalition Labor Day Parade. And with me right now is Congressman Alan Lowenthal from which district is that? The 47th Congressional District, 40. Long Beach, a um, little bit of Lakewood, and half of the district, maybe a little less, is Orange County, Western Orange County, Garden Grove. Westminster, Cypress, Stanton, Little Buena Park. And so you've broken through the orange curtain. Yes. And this is, uh, you're running for your third term? No, I'm, I have, I am in the, completing my third term. I was a, this I ran fourth. in 2012 when they created the new commission, took Republican Orange County, linked it to Democratic LA County, and they wanted to make a competitive seat. So. I'm now running up, you know, this is this is the critical election, the 2018 election. So I've been there three terms now. So why is it critical? Well, because we're fighting for the soul of the country. The country, you know, we, we have been the resistance to the president in the House. We've been fighting every time. You know, it's not just what you see. It's all the other horrible things where he de decimates labor laws. He decimates environmental laws. He puts... He puts, he said he's going to clean up the swamp and he puts the worst people, the criminals involved in running all these agencies. It is time to really have a House of Representatives that can stand up to the president and really represent America, the values of America, the people, working people, not just the wealthiest, that's what it's all about. You know, we're going, you know, under Trump, we're, we're now back to the trickle-down theory. This all has to end. We have to have health care that really is for all people. We have to have, we have to deal with the pharmaceutical companies. We have to have jobs for middle class and, and working Americans. We and, have and so what's the first thing that you would want to have happen in a uh, democratic house? House. We're going to put up a jobs bill and a house and an infrastructure bill that really promotes the well-being of this country and invests in this country and asks, you know, the, the, the wealthiest and we take back the, the tax breaks that we have given to the wealthiest and we get them to help pay, you know, they've taken all the money out of the system, they're going to pay for the infrastructure of this country and help us to pay for that. So, uh, are you going to um, uh, give the, uh, the president uh, money to build the wall? Well, I'm not. I'm not going to vote for that. But if you're asking me right now, will the House, under Republican leadership, send an appropriation through to the president? Yeah, I'm sure they will. That's why we got to take these folks out. These folks really have no integrity, the Republicans in Congress, because they know how terrible he is, and they won't stand up. And just the ones that are leaving are the only the ones that will stand up now. So, yeah, no, we're not going to give them the wall. But we've got to win. It's all about winning the House back in 2018. And how many seats have to be won back? 24. 24. And how many of those are in California? Seven. So about uh, just under a third. That's right. Okay. That's right. About a little under a third. So California will decide what happens. To the, and it may be more than seven because now Mr. Hunter's seat is in play. Right. And so we have the four seats in Orange County. We have the ISA seat, the Rohrbacher seat, the Roy seat, and also the Mimi Walter seat. We have great candidates. We have Harley running. We have Gil running, Cisneros, Mike Levin, uh, Katie Porter. We're going to win those four seats. We're going to take out Steve Knight's seat, and that's with Katie Hill. We're going to take out Jeff Harder is going to win the Denim seat. We're now going to take the, the Hunter seat, Duncan Hunter seat. And I would love to take out Devin Nunez also, who has been <laughs> just the president's lapdog. And so I'm sure that. I'm sure that you watched the um, the service for yes, John McCain. Yes, I did. You were not there, but you watched. No, it. no, we were not in session. The Senate was, but and it was by invitation. Ah. Uh, and that's what was so glad you notice who he made sure was not invited to the right, ceremony right. was was the president so what what was your take on the whole um ceremony i mean it was it, it reminded me more of an actual ritual not so much a memorial ceremony well i think people were mourning the loss of of uh of, of really of 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 people that 
had different values, but but worked together, that respected each other, uh, uh, that fought for the well-being of the country, and uh, stood up for the country, stood up to be independent, and and now we have any independence is is not allowed on the Republican side. It, they, they mourn the loss of what we have today, and I think they were there to say, we're here too, we're not what the president represents. We're what Mr. McCain represented. And that was independence. We didn't always agree with him, but there was respect, there was care for each other, and the guy gave his life. He gave his life during the, during the Vietnam War. He almost died, stood up, and still came back and participated, and then opened up, but, you know, relationships with Vietnam. After. Right, right. So no, right, he he right. he was a person who had great intent. Did I agree with him all the time? No. Did I have great respect for him um, all the time? Do you think his crowning moment was when he came and voted uh, down the uh, 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 on the ACA? Yeah. Well, he didn't or, just or vote it down. He he stood on the floor and defiantly voted it down and said, I am the vote. And he said, N down. And that was what everybody was waiting for him. That was the decisive vote that right, kept them right. from repealing it. No, right. he stood up, he planned it, he stood up for what was best for America. And for that, you respect him. I do, yeah. Would I like to see us do more in healthcare? Obviously. But we're not going to decimate what happened and take away. We're going to improve upon it, make it better. So and, are you? And are you? So are you for uh, the um, Medicare for all? I'm a part of the Medicare for all caucus. You are. Okay. I'm on the caucus. Okay. Have you endorsed for uh, uh, the uh, U.S. Senate race? Yes, I have. I'm. I'm. I, I'm. And I went and spoke to uh, Mr. De Leon, who I really work with and have great respect for. But I'm for, I'm with um, uh, uh, the senator. I'm I'm with Ms. Uh, Senator Feinstein. One of the major reasons is this is all coming to a head. And after the election, with Mr. Mueller's help, the House hopefully will put up in articles of impeachment. That trial will take place in the in the Senate. And it's critically important that it will take place in the Judiciary Committee, that the judge the, or the chair of the Judiciary Committee will be Senator Feinstein. We want those hearings to go for if if Mr. Mueller gives us what we think he will, and right after the election, right. we can do it. But right now, we're focused on the election. Great. Alan, thank you for your time today. Have a happy uh, Labor Day, and uh, go out there and make Orange County blue. I'm, I'm going to do it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.